actress in Trust Me, I'm a Lifeguard. You're also a producer in the film. I am. Tell me about that. What did you do as a producer? That means I wear a lot of hats. Uh, no, you know, I came on as a producer. I've sort of been with the project from its inception as it was being developed. Nice. And, you know, I've known Christian Kyber and Tyler Hollinger for a number of years now. And so when I came on, it's a lot of what I had to do was sort of coordinating, you know, uh, prior and pre-production, getting everything done with the, all the unions and the Screen Actors Guild and getting all of our actors sort of ready for that. Right. And then on the set, it was a lot of running around, pulling my hair out, basically, uh, in between, like, shooting scenes, right. more or less. Uh, but it was great. I mean, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of micromanaging, you know, every production, no matter how much you prepare. And I'm, I'm a type A Girl Scout. Okay. But there's always fires to put out, always. Yeah. Uh, and I, you know, it's it's a great learning experience because it's it is a lot of you know you're a team leader and you have a lot of moving parts and you as a producer your job is to really keep it all together like a bit of glue. So that, I think ultimately that that was my job. You know, you become like therapist, den mother, MacGyver, like whatever you have got to do, you step up and you do. And then you run back to the hotel and shower and go on camera, pretty much. <laughs> Could you give us an example of, of, me, of a fire you had to put out? Because I know so many things could happen. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, no, uh, like one fire in particular, it's like, you know, everything is actually going really smoothly. We had, you know, we were shooting down in Stone Harbor, which is a little bit of a drive outside of the city. And, you know, unfortunately, we had a, we had a, a truck, uh, one of our, our crew, of, like trucks, it's like the equipment truck, that we had an issue with the, the basically the lift gate on it. And a switch quite literally broke off of the lift gate and it was stuck down which means you can't drive the truck when it's down. And we had this issue of, you know, we're in this gorgeous, prestigious, you know, yacht club parking lot. They have an event and we have, you know, our utility truck basically stuck in the middle of the parking lot, blocking all these cars. And so it was a little bit of like, okay, how are we gonna jerry-rig this thing to get it to work enough to get it out of the parking lot? And then, you know, coordinating with the company to have a replacement set. And it all, you know, it all worked out. But it was one of those moments and it was at the end of our first day of like oh. such a great shoot and we're like oh my god we're like stuck in the middle of a parking lot um, so you know it was like it was it was almost like the christening you know we had yeah, such a smooth yeah. first day that it, oh, it had yeah. to like end with something that gave oh, us like to go. oh yeah it was like that was our near heart attack and then we figured it out and like I said yeah. the company was great they immediately like sent somebody out they got it all worked oh, out nice. like we're good but yeah <laughs> Kind of like had palpitations for like a minute. Yeah, so. yeah, I feel great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, tell me about your character in the film. Sure, I play Gwen. Uh, so Gwen is Murphy's fiance, and when I say fiance, it is in the unconventional sense of. They've been engaged for a very, very long time. Uh, we're hitting like seven years, basically. Murphy, because he is a bit of a Peter Pan, can't really pull the trigger. Um, so Gwen has been the saint that has stayed by his side. And, uh, you know, now she's she's ready. She's ready for the next chapter. And, you know, she's waiting for him to pull the trigger. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see if he can man up. That's, I think that's what every woman waits for. <laughs> because I, sometimes, I hear stories sometimes that horror movies, for instance, are, are fun and everybody, even like a dark drama, there is a lot of joking around on set, but then comedies are, sometimes people are serious off camera. What was it like? I'm doing a film with a bunch of hoodlums. No, uh, they were, they were, everybody was pretty lighthearted. I mean, I think we had the, we had the benefit of being really like a film family. We all knew each other from before, you know, a lot of the crews had worked together in previous projects, so that really helped out a lot I think in terms of like creating this sort of bond but in, in regards to like actual performing it, it was a lot of fun I mean you know I think the script in itself what was written it was fantastic but it also allowed room for a lot of ad-lib and improvisation on set and we already had such a great rapport like as as, a, as friends to start that I mean it was just like who can really one up each other basically um, and so it ended up being a lot of fun and like I said I think we needed that because it's like we we had such a breakneck schedule with shooting, you know, this many pages in only a matter of two and a half days. And it's like, if you don't have some levity to that, you're going to go crazy. And I think it, us kind of playing around and having a good time and like 
taking it seriously, but you know, also remembering that we're we're here to have fun. I mean, this yeah. this should be a fun experience, and we really capitalize on that. So, oh, cool. yeah. Now, what's next for you? Do you have any upcoming projects? I do. Um, I actually have a, a few things in the works. A couple I'm not able to talk about, but I, I have a TV series that I'm actually a uh, creator and writer on that I'm in the process of developing. Um, but we've just started that that process of shopping around, and the response has been really tremendous. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what happens in the next year or so. Uh, and then in terms of the feature world, I mean, we're definitely, you know, our fingers crossed that yeah. with this short, we're able to kind of parlay that into doing the full-length feature, which is sort of the goal. Uh, and then additionally, I actually just recently got signed on to a feature called Rhyme or Reason with also starring Jose Zuniga, a really fantastic character actor, but like really is like he's just, he's so broad and everything that he's done, I mean, you know, just the performances that he's always given have been very consistent. And uh, so that's coming up and that's actually also kind of in a, an early stage of development and it's your quintessential New York romantic comedy about the underdog who you know, it's just, you root for him. You want him to win the girl, and uh, I have the, the good fortune of, of being the female lead that I'm attached to for that. So, you know, it's, there's a lot on the horizon, actually. And I, I'm actually, you know, I'm, I'm, outside of also being a producer, I'm a bit of a hype in it. So I'm not only am I an actor, but I also do photography professionally. And uh, I have a photography book that I'm um, actually in the process of doing uh, with Rizzoli Books, uh, which is a huge highlight of the, of the year. And um, so, I, you know, I'm, I got my fires, you know, all going in different areas. So, you know, we'll see. So, yeah. Well, good luck tonight with the premiere at Tribeca. And I can't wait to see you in it and to see the film. Thank you. No, we, this has been honestly incredibly excited. I, you know, I, last year I actually was able to come to Tribeca in support of a few other films that I had worked with some of the folks. And, you know, I came out to support them. And ironically, or serendipitously, uh, I did a few interviews back then. And I was talking about Trust Me, I'm a Lifeguard. And, you know, saying, like, we're in pre-production and, you know, we really hope to see good things from it and it's amazing that in the span of one year not only did we shoot it we finished it we submitted it and now we are premiering in Tribeca. That is really quick for the film world to get all that finished because I know post-production could be awful or take a long time. Yeah I mean it's it's That's it, amazing. If we, if we honestly had set out for the goal of like look we want to shoot it and, and get it all done and, and get it into Tribeca who knows if it would have happened but I think we, nice. we gave it time to breathe and we didn't focus on just that end goal and we just wanted to do a good project and have a great time in the process of it. I mean it's just it's amazing to think about one year ago we were, we were hopeful that this could go somewhere and it's like here we are and on, like this is a That's tremendous awesome. film festival and it, they've been treating us so well and like really taking care of us and nice. helping us promote it like you could not ask for a better situation for us and I'm you know we're all very very grateful for what they've been doing for our project.